Hey guys, so we're on to NES review number 102, and today we're playing Platoon. Now this is probably the least fun NES game I've played. Like, I've already established how I feel about military anything, and how it's never any fun for me. And most of you know that I hated Silent Service. That game was the most unfun at the time. But this one takes the cake, because this one, you're not floating around in a submarine. This one, you're actually on the field, shooting. And you think that wouldn't be hard to screw up, but it didn't do a good job. The controls are not good at all in this game. And there was zero fun for me to have here. I was pretty much already unimpressed after my 5 minutes of playing. The annoying AI just adds to the problems of this game with the stiff controls, with the random guys jumping out of trees that you barely have time to dodge, and overall, this game is just a really poor experience for me. Maybe it might be different if I'd seen the movie Platoon, but if the movie was any good, this game would be even that much more disappointing. And even looking at the cover of this game, the cover is not really that appealing. It definitely would have drawn in anybody who cared about the movie Platoon, but once again, I didn't see it, so I have zero interest in this. Well, let's take a look at the back of the box. Are you ready for the real thing? In the jungle, everything's invisible, including the enemy. Suddenly, a firefight explodes all around you. That's jumble combat as you saw it in the movie Platoon. Now, Sunsoft's Platoon takes you right into the action. You'll fight for your life against deadly gorillas and hidden snipers, always on guard against the booby traps and napalm airstrikes that could end it all in an instant. Jungle combat. As close as you'll ever want to get to the real thing, you've got it in the palm of your hand. Platoon. I mean, I guess that describes the game, but it's not anywhere near as exciting as they make it sound. And you know what, as a kid, I probably wouldn't have liked this game very much. And playing it now, this one is definitely in the ditch pile. I pretty much knew this game would go in the ditch pile one minute into me playing it. Overall, I'm giving this game a 3 out of 10. But thanks for watching this NES review, guys, and I will see you later. Bye.